So now that we know that each application sees a lot of memory, and there is much less physical memory than all the applications actually can access, the question is, where is the missing memory? So let's say we have one application with four pages, another application with, let's say, four pages, a physical memory with, let's say, four physical frames. Let's say that each of these applications is actually using all of its pages, because there are only four. In this application, there is a four entry page table that for every page tells us which frame contains it, and it could be any frame in memory. This application also has some of its pages in physical memory, but obviously there is not enough physical memory for all of these pages. So the question is, where are the rest of them? And the answer is, they are on the hard disk. So some of these pages are not actually in memory, they are actually stored on the hard drive in the system. These pages cannot be directly accessed by the processor, because the processor can only really access through loads and stores the physical memory. So if the processor ever tries to access one of these, they need to be brought from the disk before they can be accessed. We will shortly see how that works, but for now, just remember, that because the virtual memory of all the applications can significantly exceed the size of the physical memory, some of the memory that the applications think they have is on the disk, not really in memory at all.